Less. <clears throat> it looked less like a facelift. It looked more like a mass grave. More like an FBI agent flicking your cigarette butts on the wet pavement etched in the corner with Noriega's name. It looked more like old dreams, faded and holy blue jeans, seemingly strung popcorn decor like Christmas never wrote a good check, like antidepressants and student loan debt, like Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac making out like bandits behind foreclosed homes while the Koch brothers continue to receive government handouts and the Lehman brothers abandon ships of subprime loans on America's shores for the populace to pay the parking meters. Yeah. So by this time, these plagues felt more personal than Orient paid programming the endless listing of side effects. It was more like a father and his three sons busking on bars because some family man needed another yacht, heroin, a hooker, and an overdose. It looked less like minimum wage. It looked more like rent might be a little late this month. <laughs> or it might go down like the Concordia, down like the Deepwater Horizon, down like the Berlin Wall, down like the ship and its captain, down like our standards, down like the attention span of our children. Down, like, uh, Hold your tip. like knowing that if God is anything, it is in the shape of a question. It is exploring its own infinity. It is learning, speaking, listening, feeling. It is curious, Whoa. unintentional, per perpetual neotony. It is relearning lessons the hard way for fuck's sake. Uh, that is it. That is continually continuing to forget its very existence between harmonized mild incantations, cool less matters, multitude of manifestations. It looked less like the American dream. It looked more like a machine gun toting four year old in Liberia, grasping for breath and nothing less than a single scrap of freedom. Like learning like preteen hormones grown. <laughs> uh, and growing old while paying the empty debts of the brickmakers in Pakistan. And it all looked more like at least 30 million humans in slavery to this day. Each little girl with her innocence marketed with a tiara and pink lipstick smeared across a Disney princess comforter sold to a willing foreigner in a windowless basement. So then, it looked more like mortgage for the next 40 years and ungodly indigestion. Like three loaded atomic chili cheese dogs in a malt shake. A dozen raised glazed donuts in the Wu-Tang Clan. Spitting molten shell and speaking bumping beats. Sampling the nectar of James Brown, soul drummer, golden ratio break beats. Uh, like quantum foam and lemonade or Ken Kesey's electric Kool-Aid or God-seeking sleepy-eyed flower children who grew up and forgot the weather other underground and where they placed their keys and wallets and pants, a pantsless God for everything, timeless and exact, floating particles accelerated and destroyed for the pursuit of the essence of manifest destiny. It looked less and less like a history book. It looked more like a poor, like a series of poorly crafted sock puppets. More like dropping acid with Timothy Leary and tuning into the soft and softly spoken underbelly of reality. And pondering the ordinary with Richard Feynman and dropping definitions for definition's sake. Or more like munching mushrooms with Terrence McKenna and embracing pure mystical nature or folding into light itself, simultaneously experiencing end and beginning, or more like sipping tea with the Buddha and becoming the very moment you first welcome yourself back into the sickly twisting oneness that it always was. Yeah.